Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just a uh, update here on uh, Cureleaf. As I uh, said on my last video, it's uh, Friday. And what a, what a better way to uh, kick off the weekend by uh, talking about MJ stocks. So, <laughs> been talking about a lot of them here lately. Uh, just did a video on Crisco Labs, uh, Sundial, High Tide last night, Planet 13, Hexo, and Sundial all in the last week. Some of my uh, favorites, um, but uh, these you need to uh, check out if you haven't already. Um, um, I, like I said, I just did one on uh, Crisco Labs, um, but some of these over-the-counter stocks um, like Crisco, Cureleaf, um, Planet 13, uh, there's another one, I can't say it right now, but I'll uh, look it up and do a video on it. Um, but some of these over-the-counter ones you need to check out. Um, you can't get these on Robinhood. Um, you'd have to go through, um, I bought them through Fidelity. The reason I bought them there is because they don't charge you a commission. Um, if you look at um, TD Ameritrade, um, last time I tried buying them there, they charged a commission. I don't know if they do now. I don't know much about um, Charles Schwab. I just started using their platform as well, but have not bought any over-the-counter stocks, so if you have any info on that, leave it in the comments, please. But uh, back to uh, Cureleaf. Ticker is C-U-R-L-F. Uh, this is currently showing it as a buy with a one-year price target of 1893. So can't beat the ratings on uh, some of these um, over-the-counter stocks as well. So. Here's a look at what they've done over the last year. Uh, so it was in the $18 range back in February, along with um, all the other MJ stocks that were all up then. In the uh, last month, it's down a little bit. Last week, it's kind of up and down, kind of flat. It looks like it's up a little bit. And here's a look at today, so you can see the uh, volume pumping in there. Bing is showing it as a buy with an upside to 1893. So, uh, this article just uh, popped up. That's on the uh, 20th, so we're just going to skip that. That's a little bit outdated, but Curleaf closes a $211 million Arizona acquisition. This is dated on the uh, 19th, um, so a little bit older, but still relevant to the uh, stock. So again, there's the uh, ticker C-U-R-L-F, a leading international provider of consumer products, and MJ uh, today announced the completion of its previously announced acquisition of Bloom Dispensaries. Vertically integrated the single state MJ operator in Arizona with the uh, close of the transaction, Cureleaf's uh, retail footprint has reached 13 dispensaries in Arizona and 121 nationwide. So again, a, another company that's growing. Uh, another one that I really like, it's a 5 $6 stock. Um, you can get on uh, Robinhood is uh, High Tide, so you can check out that one. Just did a video on that one last night. So, But they are growing and expanding one to two stores, it seems like, per month. So I think they're looking to get up to 150 by the end of the year. Um, but a lot of these are growing, expanding, adding products, adding to the benefits. Uh, Bloom will be immediately accredited to our adjusted EBITDA margins on behalf of the board of directors and management team. Pleased to officially welcome Bloom to the Cureleaf family. And here's some of their highlights. 2021 revenue, approximately $66 million. Margins of more than 40%. Four retail dispensaries located in Phoenix, Tucson, Peoria, and the only dispensary currently in Sedona. Two adjacent cultivation and processing facilities located in North uh, Phoenix, totaling approximately 63,500 square feet of space. So it's a pretty decent sized, uh, considering a um, Planet 13 store is twice that size. Uh, you'll have to watch my videos. So, under the terms of agreement, 
Curly paid an aggregate to purchase purchase price of approximately two hundred eleven million in cash and debt free a basis with target working capital. The uh, purchase price will be paid uh, fifty one million in cash at the close, uh, with the uh, remaining approximately one hundred sixty million to be paid through the issuance three promissory notes of uh, fifty million. Uh, due respectively on the first, second, and third anniversary of closing. Here's a little bit more about Cureleaf, a leading international provider of consumer products in MJ with a uh, mission to improve lives by uh, providing clarity around MJ and confidence around consumption. As a high-growth uh, MJ company known for quality, expertise, and reliability, the company and its brands, including Cureleaf and Select, provide industry-leading service, product selection, and accessibility across the uh, medical and adult use markets. In the United States, Cureleaf currently operates in 23 states with 121 dispensaries, 25 cultivation sites, and employs more than 5,200 team members. And um, once federalization, legal federalization goes through, I would assume this would all double very quickly. Curleaf International is the, uh, again I don't have the date, I'm just uh, stating my opinion uh, whenever legalization goes through, I don't have a date uh, just to throw that out there, but if you're wondering, I say anywhere from the next two to five years, um, Definitely going to be two years out because um, after the uh, February run-up uh, last year, the reason everything came down is uh, Chuck Schumer announced uh, under the Biden administration there would not be legalized. So that's why it's all went down since then. Here's a look at their uh, website. 23 operating states, 125 local dispensaries, 25 cultivation sites, square feet of cultivation capacity, active wholesale dispensary accounts. So it's a growing company as well. Um, Planet 13, when I talked about them, they are going to be uh, uplisting, I believe, at uh, some point in time, I would assume, uh, Cureleaf, Cresco Labs, and I can't say the other... <laughs> over-the-counter stock that I like, um, but they, I would assume, would be uplisting at some point as well, so. Cureleaf acquires Arizona MJ operator Bloom dispensaries, so again, kind of some of the uh, same information, so again, I'm just going to kind of scroll through this, since it is some of the same information for those of you that like uh, Stockhouse, so. Over here on uh, Yahoo Finance, opens two new Pennsylvania dispensaries as stated on the uh, 20th provider of consumer products and MJ tonight today announced that it opened two new dispensaries in Pennsylvania Cura leaves the latest location in Greenberg and Wayne will increase the company's retail footprint to 14 dispensaries statewide and 125 across the country two additional locations are expected to open by the end of February pending regulatory approval. So if you've been to either one of those or uh, seen those, you can leave that in the comments. Or if you've been to a Careleaf uh, store at all, you can list that in the comments as well. So this is the uh, first of the dispensaries to hold a grand opening today, January 20th. Uh, Careleaf Wayne, located at 707 Lancaster Avenue, has already undergone soft opening and will celebrate its grand opening on Thursday January 27th. So here's kind of some of their products, flower products, uh, Select Elite, Select Elite Live, Grassroots Full Spectrum, and so on. Since becoming a clinical registrant uh, recognized uh, by Commonwealth's uh, Department of Health in 2020, Curaleaf uh, Pennsylvania subsidies have supported research initiatives examining the potential benefits of MJ by providing medical MJ and guidance by patients. Companies' ongoing efforts to provide clinically supported resources to Pennsylvania over 681,000 registered patients. 
Here's a little bit more about um, Curleaf Holdings. Here's the latest locations. Company also serves patients through Curleaf dispensaries in Altoona, Bradford, Brookville, and so on. You can click on that to visit their locations in Pennsylvania. So if you're in Pennsylvania, you can list that in the uh, comments. Go PA. Here's a little bit more about uh, Curleaf. We've already kind of went over some of that. Over here on uh, Benzinga. <laughs> Go away. MJ Dispensary Roundup Curleaf expands in Florida and PA Sweet Flower uh, opens a shop in Culver City. Uh, Cresco Labs is also heavily in uh, Florida. Um, so tons of um, stores in Florida by a couple different brands. Opens a new store in Florida and Pennsylvania. Bolstered its retail footprint in Florida and Pennsylvania last week. Uh, customers in Pennsylvania can now purchase a selection of Cureleaf's top-selling vaporizer and whole leaf or whole flower products, including Select Elite, Select Elite Live, Grassroots, Full Spectrum RSOs, RSO capsules, prepackaged flower distillate cartridges, uh, strain-specific vape cartridges, as well as cured and live concentrates. New store in Greenberg, uh, located, uh, held a grand opening on Thursday the 20th. Uh, so if you visit that store, you can list that in the comments as well. Wakefield, Massachusetts-based company also announced plans to open two new dispensaries in Florida by the end of the month, uh, bringing the footprint of 44 dispensaries statewide and 123 across the country. So I like seeing these over-the-counter stocks uh, being profitable, making money, expanding. And i am just been watching them and probably going to be putting in a buy order on uh, this one and uh, Cresco Labs probably here. Banker to uh, United States, uh, MJ Industry yields 10.4 and raises a payout. This is dated on the uh, 27th. So the Democrats positioned themselves as a pot-friendly party. If you wanted to get MJ legalized at the federal level, the Democrats were your party. It turns out they weren't. <laughs> so, beer, beer, beer. They're just, um, yeah, talk the talk, but they're not walking the walk. And when it comes to uh, MJ legalization, <clears throat> federal Democrats have been party poopers. There you have it in black and white. Uh, the um, Joe at the helm, I uh, can't even call him president. <laughs> we should be entirely surprised that the uh, Democrats have been slow-footed on the MJ issue. If anything, the uh, current malaise in Washington mirrors uh, Biden's ambivalence about the MJ legalization. In 1982, he helped coin the term drug czar. And later he pushed uh, President Ronald Reagan to create the Office of National Drug Control Policy. Not allowing MJ industry to access uh, traditional banking channels uh, gives the larger U.S. MJ companies a chance to insulate themselves uh, with better access to capital. For example, Cureleaf uh, announced a $425 million private placement. And this kind of goes over more about the um, Real Estate Investment Trust. Uh, might have to look into that one. Um, another one that I've looked into is uh, IIPR. So definitely going to have to look into this AFC Gamma Incorporated. If you have that one, list that in the uh, comments. Over here on uh, Reddit, waiting a buy signal. Let's see if there's any updates. Waiting short signal, free trial. Position. Over here on uh, Stock Twits, currently at seven dollars and nine cents, uh, low of six ninety, high of eighteen thirty-eight. Cesspool over the counter. I have another order front run by the guys. <laughs> over here on uh, MSN Money, currently showing it as a buy. That's another thing with all these um, 
over the counter stocks uh, they're all showing good ratings good buy strong buy even here on tip ranks currently at 706 with 161 percent upside to 1847 high of 2434 low of 1150 uh, that's all that I have on uh, Cureleaf. If you have this one, go ahead and list that in the uh, comments along with your cost basis. Any other information you'd like to uh, share about Cureleaf? And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing. And hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is J Money Falling Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.